all my friends. So I just did a kind of a catch-up video, and now we're going to read the Bible. Um, I wanted you to uh, also check out um, under the catch-up video uh, a link to Song of Minuteman. Uh, it shows the father and son. Uh, and they're explaining what's going on with the album. So if you guys got into that, like Mississippi Dave, if you you know, wanted to hear that album, you'll hear what's going on with the two of them and see their video. Um, just both of them are just so absolutely adorable. I love them. Um, okay, so we are uh, in the book of Proverbs. Um, uh, just a little bit about uh, Emmanuel Swedenborg. The, the people that follow his writings and stuff are called uh, Swedenborgans or something like that. Um, and I'm interested in near-death uh, experiences like with Howard Storm. And as you guys know, I converse with him and occasionally. Um, and I still don't know what's going on with his book, if it's been published yet. Hopefully I'll, I'll hear from him. Um, and um, uh, Howard was on the um, Left Eye, which is a nonprofit that talks about Emanuel Swedenberg's writing back in the 1800s. Um, and um, um, Swedenberg had a um, spiritual awakening in his 50s. Uh, prior to that, he, you know, um, he, he was a natural genius, and he was in different fields like physics and chemistry and sciences and music and you name it. The guy was a, uh, a, a, a renaissance man of his time, okay? And um, so very fascinating that he was able to see angels and spirits and demons, was taken up to heaven, to hell, to out of, you know, whether in the body or out of the body, like, kind of like Paul, don't know, or like John, not sure, but the Lord saw fit to allow him to, until the, until he passed away, to see the spiritual world and what happens, and to have, uh, and have many, many things explained, um, and one of the things that we don't see Okay, and, and, and it's why it's so important to put on the armor of God daily um, to get prayed up, as they say, okay, and um, is because demons constantly want to get into you like a little worm and mess things up for you and your family and your friends um, to um, put, you know, thoughts into your mind and your heart, they know your weaknesses better than you do. And that's the truth. Um, and they just, you know, want to destroy you, basically. <laughs> they hate you, they don't have any feeling towards you uh, other than they want you dead and gone. And they want your spirit, they want your soul. And that's the truth, okay? So whether you buy it or not, um, those of you who are listening to my channel are not Christians. These things are real, okay? And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not real. Just because, you know, you can't see the wind doesn't mean that you don't feel it, okay? Again, another natural element uh, to talk about. Um, so angels, on the other hand, are fighting on our, our behalf, our guardian angels. How many angels we have, I don't know. Uh, how each person is doled out, you know, one or two or three or four. I don't know how that works, but we are yet. Um, but we are given angels to protect us. And then we as well can use the Holy Spirit to pray and protect ourselves against evil. And we should do that no matter where we are, where we're going, um, to protect ourselves as well, okay? Okay. And uh, so I think this is, just, you know, really important to do um, and to remember that, um, you know, you're going along and then something happens and you don't know why it happened and um, maybe you think you do and, and then, you know, um, 
after, you know, you just have to remember that Satan wants to try to destroy anything that's good. Okay, so, um, it, so just be aware of that. I just wanted to bring that up, okay? Um, now, we are in uh, Proverbs, and Proverbs talks a lot about, this is, you know, Solomon's book, if you will. Uh, it talks about a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and so chapter 17, uh, we'll start off with that. So please pray before you hear God's word. Because God's word is living even to this day. Better is a dry morsel and the quietness within than a house full of sacrifices with strife. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causes shame and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The finding pot is for silver and the furnace for gold. But the Lord tries the heart. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. James talks a lot about keeping your tongue quiet. Who, who, whoso mocketh the poor, reproach his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Just one little thing before I continue. The new modern church is going to be of younger people. Younger people are more and more listening to the Bible, listening to um, YouTube, social media. It's all audio uh, visual. And so the church needs to rethink how it's going to present its uh, God's word and present the gospel, okay? So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. You need to think about how we're going to grow the church again, okay? Children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whosoever it turneth, it prospereth. He that covered a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separate very friends. Well, that's really cool. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth matter separate very friends. Okay. A reproof entered more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. An evil man seeketh only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife as it is when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention before it be melded with. He that justifies the wicked and he that content, uh, commit, condemneth the just, even they both are abominations to the Lord. So let me read that again. He that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abominations to the Lord. So no false accusations. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom? seeing that he hath no heart to it. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. 
A man void of understanding striketh hands and becometh surety in the presence of his friend. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalted his gate seeketh destruction. He that had a forward heart findeth no good. He that had a perverse tongue falleth in mischief. He that begetteth a fool does it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man seeketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. The foolish son is a grief to his father and the bitterness to her that bear him. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princesses for equality. He that hath knowledge spared his words and a man of understanding is of excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. He that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Okay, I'm going to have to stop there. And uh, that was just one chapter. So um, I will do another video so we can get a few more chapters in. Okay, take care, my friends.